The first thing you need to do when you install an eye in a deer mannequin is level the deer head up. We're going to use an eye level. Set the eye level on front of the muzzle. And you want to make sure both front corners of the eyes are parallel to the ground. That's where we start. Now what you want to do, so you want to choose your eye. This is a R2128, which is an honest eye. It's got a 28 iris, 32 base. And you can see I've put masking tape over top of the pupil so I can see the pupil easily when I set in the eye socket. This black line here is actually where the pupil would lie, level to that. This fits comfortably in the eye socket. First thing you, what you want to do is you want to divot out the back of this eye socket a little bit in the mannequin. Rough it up just a bit. What you're going to do is you're going to bed a, a thin layer of clay in the back of this eye socket. A little bit of clay there, down in that hole. Try not to change the angle of the eye socket in the mannequin. You want to believe in the sculptor. And then in the back of the eye, fill that back of that eye up with clay. Leave it domed just a little bit so when you push that eye in place, it'll lock onto that clay that's in that back of that eye socket. Level your pupil up, set it in place. Center that eye within the socket. And you're going to notice how much, how little of clay it actually takes to set an eye. What you want to do is you want to do this eye, and then do the same thing to the opposite eye. Do the right, then do the left. Do the right, then do the left. So we have this eye set in place. I'm going to double check from the front. Now you're going to take two small rolls of clay. The lower lid is smaller than the upper lid. So this would be the lower lid. I've got it to a point. I'm going to lay that lower lid in place. What I'm doing is I'm just filling the gap between the glass and the mannequin. Pressing that in place. This is a rough out, so you come back in later with the night tool and finish it off. Now for the upper lid, same thing. A little bit right there. Get that shape of that eye. It's an almond type shape. Press that clay in place. Don't worry about filling that gap initially. Just get it set. And then fill that gap with a small amount of clay. Smooth that clay up. Then you can take a paintbrush. A little bit of water. Smooth that clay. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool called the eye tool. It's got a left side and a right side. This is the deer's left side. So what you do is you take this eye tool, you lay it in place. That front corner of that eye tool is a trough of the eye. And then what you can do is you just take this clay, push it down into place around that eye tool. That'll give you the exact shape from left to right. There's no guesswork into it at all. Double check it. Move that clay up. And you can take your tool in a paintbrush and just smooth that clay. Now Dare does have somewhat of a peripheral vision so from the back side you do want to see glass looking from the back also. They're not a predator. They look, they look also to the side. And once you get that in place go ahead and peel your tape off. Clean your eye up.
Now, like I said, what you do is you do your right eye, set your glass, your left eye, set your glass, your right eye, set your glass. Put your bottom in on the left, put your bottom in on the right. Put your top in on your left, put your top in on your right. Set your eye tool in there, make sure your shapes are correctly, smooth it up with the paintbrush, and then proceed to your mount.